Hey, what's up YouTube, Scabadger here, and we're back on day 27 of our 100 player fan game series. In the end of Nations, we are back up to 7th, uh, but that has just come just recapturing land from Alberta. Nothing really much more to say there. Under the agreement, we have cleaned up issue of land, but we're just having trouble holding on to it at the moment. And we'll talk about how I plan to remedy that situation in a second. In terms of the most advanced nations, we can see that Finland and North Brazil are out in front with a healthy lead while we're back in sixth place now i believe this is due to the fact we've been specializing in ships and they take a long time to research so that could explain why we've fallen somewhat behind so if we have a look at the map at the moment and our resources we can see that we are after we close the ad still negative in food now i have shut off all of our barracks we're not currently producing any troops at all uh, we've got plenty of goods plenty of manpower not much iron a good amount of oil, plenty of rear, and a good amount of money. So, what's happening here with our economy at the moment is, if we have a look down here, the morale's pretty good. Uh, but as we move up into North America, we can see that it's not so good. Not very good at all. So, basically what happens is, once we get this back into the positive, get it healthy again, we'll be in a good situation. Uh, because the morale is so low, some of these provinces are producing like shit. So if we lift that up, get that back to 100%, for say that would produce around 800 food an hour. And if we combine it with every other food province in the area, that will throw us more than back into positive. So that's what's happening at the moment. As we can see, there are a lot of fortifications in the area, and this is just to slow down the process. Due to the fact everything's dropping, uh, the neighbor's multiplier on the morale is dropping with it, which just makes the situation worse. So we are in a bit of a death spiral, for se. So we have got a solution to this. King Congo has done some amazing diplomacy and managed to get us some tanks from Papua New Guinea. Now, at this point in time, we can see that uh, we have already captured the capital of New Caledonia, that went to uh, Raj, East Amazonia, and we're now moving in to capture the capital of Fiji. Now this is meant to be a farming situation, so we are meant to obviously just destroy Fiji, then let them rebuild a capital here, go in, capture that, but due to the fact I'm the only one that's not at war with five people, well actually technically at the moment I am at war with five people, but that won't be for long, uh, we're going to take him out we're going to take Fiji out straight away. That way we can stay at a minus 20 instead of minus 25. So we're on the verge of taking the last province that belongs to Northwest USA. So that's what's happening there. So we capture that capital, we get a plus 20 to everything. That will fix the situation over there. We'll still need to build more forts. Uh, but to make it even better, we're just about to capture this last province that belongs to the Northwest USA, and once we've done that, our morale will be at a minus 20 in terms of the players they are at war with, so it will drop a hell of a lot slower. So that will fix this problem up here, and it'll also boost our economy up again, so that will be really, really good to see. In the meantime, all we can really do to help buy time is build fortifications. As we can see here, even though we have a level 4 fortification here, the morale is still flaw falling, and that's just due to the fact of that neighbor's effect, uh, minus 44. So if we can get all the provinces here up to a healthy number, and we get rid of that minus 44, we should be good to go again. Uh, but in the meantime, it's just going to keep dropping. So that's what's happening there at the moment. If we have a look at the rest of the map and everyone else, King Congo is having a similar issue. Luckily, he doesn't have as much land to hold on to, so he's not doing too bad. North Brazil is also having a similar problem, uh, but I mean, he's doing somewhat better considering he has all this land down here to lift the morale. So if we come over into the Atlantic Ocean, we can see this massive movement of troops up here. This is my allies' invasion of Spain. So they're gearing up at the moment, they're still grouping up. Um, well, not even not the hard part yet. They have to move in soon and actually capture Spain. So they're just going for the Iberian Peninsula at the moment. And once they've captured it, it will cripple Spain and cripple his ability to fight. Now, Italy at the same time has gone and attacked Persia. And although he is winning, it means a lot of his troops are in the region over here. So that makes us a very good time to move in Spain. Uh, which is what we're doing at the moment. I'm not involved in this conflict at all, so I'm hoping to stay at peace with these guys over here to keep my morale in a good position. So if we have a quick look around, we can see that there is a lot of troops heading over. We have a massive amount of troops involved in this attack, and it's not. this is a really big one. So 
that's not even all the troops right there uh, but that is quite a few of them the basic aim of this attack is to really cripple the Axis 4. The Axis 4 are involved in just about every conflict around the world at the moment and if we can take them out and at least cripple them, catch their cause, they will fall relatively quickly. So it's really important that we make it to shore. If we don't make it to shore, then we're going to have to try again later on. At the moment in this attack down here, North Brazil is doing most of the naval engagements. He has some help from obviously our allies. Uh, and Gold is joining us for this one. He's got a few troops. He's going to be helping out with what he has left, getting some revenge. Um, North Argentina has acquired a few subs, uh, managed to acquire a navy from Quebec, and is putting that to good use as well. Uh, we traded some battleships around yesterday, and I managed to get North Argentina's, well, Quebec's old battleships are graded to level 4. So that's what's happening there. Everyone's pitching in over here except me and Alberta. So if we come over to here, we can see that. Oh, I hate it when I do that, but I'll fix that later. We can see that our battleships are moving into position, and they should be in position to start harassing National China within the next couple of days. This group down here has a little bit further to go, but within the next two days, it will be in a good position. Actually, I might send that one down over here, so just under two days. Uh, now, not much progress has been made, but we're just gearing off at the moment, and we should be getting going pretty soon. So that's really all there is to say. Thank you for watching.